Hey everybody! Welcome back to Bebo's Packers! So recently, just today in the news, matter of fact, it's Friday. That's why I'm wearing this red shirt, because it's Red Friday. Remember everyone deployed. It's a military thing. So, let's go straight up a little bit here. So just check me out and bear with me. So, uh, just recently in the news, I just saw a, a news thing on my phone. You know how you're on your phone, right? You get if you're if you have a if you're uh, subscribed to a news thing, whatever, uh, you get little flirts, whatever, and it just says somebody, Prince Harry, whatever, you know. So Harry and fucking Meghan, right? These motherfuckers, I, I don't get it. It's millions of Americans are fucking all over this shit, right? About the 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 royal couple, brr, they oh they left Canada for Canada, oh, or uh, you know. And and then and then the Queen Elizabeth and she fucking finally fucking croaked when the this other Edward motherfucker oh finally you fucking bitch you're finally fucking gone oh I get my crown now I get to be a king and who gives a fuck we shed blood to fucking separate from the fuckers I didn't make sure because I'm a fucking stupid retard right? I'm a dumb trucker if so I look at this shit and I go okay Google it Wikipedia yeah sure we separate from the, the fucking what was that called oh yeah the Revolutionary fucking War right. We fucking we fought the fucking British and shit. We killed killed them fuckers. They they killed our people. And but here we are. Ooh, we're the royal people. Fuck the royal people. Jesus fucking Christ. Where are we at? Britain? No. And his pose, his pose, dick. In my British voice, and I have my teeth are missing. Shut up. Anyway. So right, it's Fred Friday. I got a little bit of a tangent there. Apologize for that. But I'm drinking the uh, Beach with A's beer here. Mm. It's like my pacifier. It's so goddamn good. Mm. Don't you see me drink this and go, God damn, I want one of those. And I was going to put it inside here. But you remember, I did a same one of this. The baby here, but don't need to. It's winter time here. We can keep it in there. It's fine. Ah! So, today I want to talk a little bit about something. Bars. It's Friday night. It's January, but you're still going to a bar Friday night. You go to a bar Friday night, right? Not one of those fucking losers. You know, I'm go home and do a Sudoku puzzle and maybe a crossword and me and, uh, me and my girlfriend, maybe we're going to watch... Some, uh, the bowling championship. <laughs> oh, whatever. The 2023 fucker, get with it. We're going to go to a bar. What bar are you going to go to? What kind of bar are you going to go to? This is a tricky question. Your buddies fucking call you up. Are you single? Are you married? You got a girlfriend? You got a mistress? What the fuck's going on? I don't understand. The buddies want to go to a bar. Well, what the fuck bar are you going to go to? This is a tricky question. It's not just fucking black and white, man. Um, where I come from in Belleville, and I'm going to explain a little bit about the bar situation you know, in depth later on, but what I'm talking about in, in Belleville, Illinois, uh, in the Midwest in particular, there's a bar in every fucking corner. And they're not fancy bars, they're local joints, right? Because back in the uh, turn of the century, I'm talking in the, 19th, the 20th century, coming in the 20th century, uh, there's a bar in every corner because that's where your local people, they, they, you didn't have really a car. You didn't have a fucking Uber, you didn't have a fucking Lincoln Continental or a fucking Jeep Wrangler. You, or so you fucking, you, 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 you went to your local bar, which is a few blocks away. And in Missouri and Illinois, Missouri most, more, more than Illinois, in St. Louis, there is a bar literally on every few blocks. You go to Soulard, Missouri, you will go to a, a lot of bars. In a matter of a couple of hours, you can go about 30 bars. And it's just really fucking veteran, man. They're old times. They've been around for a long fucking time. And they're small. Because that was from the neighborhood. It's like in Germany. I was over in Germany. Uh, they have a guest house. It means a guest house is a, 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 like a hotel per thing. Downstairs is a bar or restaurant. And if you stayed there, uh, you would go downstairs and get a food and drink, whatever. And if you're local village, you would go to that guest house. That would be where you get your food and drink. That the local thing, same thing. Um, it's, it's just the way things happen. That little bit here, 
fucking history on Beetle's Pantry. Because I'm turtle. See, Beetle's Pantry, I'm turtle. All right, here we go. So, you got to choose the correct bar. The correct bar and you. Okay, remember that old fucking film? Wait. Anyway, so, think about this. We got the big game coming up. The fucking big fucking game, man. This is the game of games. That guy, number three, he's going to be there for the Bills. He's going to be there. Probably watching. But he'll be there. Probably in the front row. Uh, things to consider. I'm going to tell you what. If my buddy calls me up and says, let's go to a bar. You got to figure your age. That's the first fucking thing. For age, what I want to do. Now, you can go to... There's what do they got? Let me let me see, let me show you my choices here. On what I got written down here. I put glasses on for for effect. Uh, bars and grills. Now that's a safe one. That's anybody can go there. Bars and grills. Your neighborhood grill. Fuck Applebee's, Olive Garden. No, Olive Garden. Fuck that. Applebee's, chili, same fucking type of thing, right? But you know what I'm saying. Uh, in, in Phoenix here, we'd probably call it the, the, the hub, places like that. It's just a huge fucking uh, bar and grill. They have some TVs, maybe some sporting things. But it's a bar and grill. It's a family place. You take anybody there from fucking 2 to 102 and just go there and have supper. You have a general fucking uh, your chicken and burger, a, a steak choice, whatever. Uh, and, and that's one thing, right? That's just kind of, okay, that's just food. Not a beer, not a beer for you. And that's cool, your, your general selection of beers. Uh, for you pussies out there wanting your craft beers, it's not going to happen there. You got to put a butt plug up and go find some fucking hip, hipster bar, which I'll talk about in a minute. Uh, let's see, country bar. Uh, let's, let's, stick, let's stay on thing. Uh, sports bars. A sports bar and grill. Remember that? Now, here in Scottsdale, Arizona, they'll have these fucking the the pine or the the leather. Store. Fuck that! You're gonna look if it's a sports bar and grill. That's different. That means they're catering to your sports crowd. That's gonna bring in more of your not necessarily younger people, but a lot a lot more younger people will show up. But you're also gonna be looking at uh, people coming and wearing jerseys and sport gear like that. Watching the game, the the big game. Hey, why do they call it the big fucking game? Why is it the tennis fucking championship in September called the big game, or the Olympics called the big game? Hey, what the hell? Are, anyway, so the the <laughs> sorry, I got it. We get another breath. <coughs> the ones I have here. Oh, hang on a bit. I had to liquefy myself. So, the sports bars, and you can say sports bar and grill, or sports grill and pub, something like that, but you get the idea, right? They're going to have your, they're going to have uh, TVs, more TVs. Well, sports bar, shit tons of TVs. There's a place in Arizona, Phoenix, called Twin Peaks. I'm telling you guys, guys, and women can appreciate it too. The fucking grade of women that work here. You think Hooters, Hooters sucks, okay? Hooters, is, no, sorry. I'm not going to mention Hooters here. It doesn't matter. Hooters is cool. It's a family place. Bring your kids, your family, your wife. And all the chicks there are married and shit like that. They're all 35, 40 years old anymore. Doesn't matter. I, I, Hooters has never really been a thing for me. Because I know it's all with your bullshit. Take your stockings off. Your stupid orange shorts. I don't care. Place called Twin Peaks, man. It's the fucking... It is the bar. It is the fucking standard. For food. For for fucking cold beer. They got a temperature fucking thing right there to tell you how cold that beer is. It doesn't get out of the 20s. Okay? And the women are just 180 degrees of that. They motherfuckers are hot. They, and they usually come up to me wanting my fucking name and shit. What's what I'm doing there? You know, like I'm some star. <laughs> they're like, yo, dude, what? They're like, sir. The handicap that sits over there, and uh, would you like a senior menu? <laughs> would you like a <coughs> the insure cocktail? <coughs> I'm sorry. 
Anyway, that's what that get. Anyway, but, but but that is the fucking standard. That's as fat as a sports bar. And it's a restaurant all combined into one. It's very delicious, very good. And the food's good, too. And it tastes good. So, country bars. Now, let's go to a country bar. Guy go to go juke, you're going to go dancing. That's right by my own way. It's a fucking country bar. They're fucking they're fantastic. They'll have bar food, some TVs. You're not going to watch the big game there. <coughs> well, I got a hot couple loogie. There it goes. But you're not going to get no, no TVs too much in a, in a country bar. Uh, probably videos to be playing for country music, you know. Uh, so that's that. That country bar would be dancing, country music, or like that. The new country music probably sucks. I don't think they have country bars too much anymore. I haven't seen one in a long fucking time. There is one here in Mesa. Uh, Denim and Diamond, something like that. I've never been there. I don't, I don't know. I, I need to go there and show them how to dance. I do have some pretty serious dancing skills and come to two step and waltzing and stuff like that. I, I have I've I've put on several clinics here at the Apache Junction uh, American Legion. <laughs> mm. I digress. I said something about bars and grills, those are safe. Country bars are kinda of one off things, kinda of sports bars talk about Yuppie Bar. You want to go to a yummy bar? Hey, Mike, you want to go? Mike, I turned to the yummy bar. I'm going to tell you, probably take that question and stuff it right up your ass. I'm not going to a yummy bar. But what is a yummy bar? Well, we have those here in Phoenix. I'm, I'm just saying everything in Phoenix. Even St. Louis has those too, right? But across America, the yummy bar. They're called a cool burger joint, right? And they have some weird, this hip, cool name to them, like the burger. Or uh, the patty, the patty bun, or whatever the hell they're gonna have. Then you go in there. I'm gonna get a Bud Light or Budweiser or Coors. Uh, no, we have the Samson's Goliath uh, wheat ale, or we have the IPA uh, uh, stack fuck. We have the uh, origami uh, bark fuck titty whacker. We have the, shut up! I don't want to eat that. So we're gonna leave now. I'm gonna go to the bar, Applebee's to the grill. So those places, right? That's what I'm talking about. They're, they're very hip. They're very trendy. Very expensive bullshit. Uh, you won't see me there. I will not be there. But that's the yuppie bar. Also, there's the gay bar. Now those aren't bad. Don't judge me. Now. I don't judge gays. Fucking let's go. Let's party with gays. Motherfuckers will turn you out and they'll get fucked up. Those fuckers will drink you on the table. Don't fucking dick with a goddamn gay man. Them motherfuckers will drink vodka and Red Bulls until you can't fucking... You're like, oh my God, that's going crazy. So, but the gay bars are cool. There was some... I thought that play Sular in, uh, in, in Missouri talking about. I had a couple there. Uh, what was it? Gosh, damn, Clementine's. Jesse, tell me if I'm right. Send me a message. I think Clementine's. That was cool. I uh, walked in. I walked in a couple of them. I wasn't sure it was a gay bar. I, I didn't know it was a gay bar. I walked in there. We were doing a pub crawl. Walked in there. And it was. Uh, and you pick up right, you pick on the vibe pretty quick. It was just stupid. Like, oh, oh, oh. That's cool. I will tell you, I went to a, a comedy club in Tucson, Arizona back in the 90s. And it was next to a, a women's lesbian bar. And I want to go get me a beer before the show. So we could take beers outside and have beers before we go to the comedy show. I walked in there, man, by myself. And this fucking these dykes are in there, man, looking at me like, motherfucker, what are you doing in here? I'm like, oh. I've never been there. I said, oh. Because you can, like I said, you can pick up on this shit. So I'm like, oh, well, fuck, man. So I'm just getting the beer. So one lady looked at me like I was fucking having a baby. I just looked at it, so I'm just getting a couple of beers. You know, and of course, you know, there's a whole other dialogue I have with that, but, you know, whatever. And then, of course, my favorite, the dive bar. That's where I go to. I am an avid fan of dive bars. They're the best. I don't, it's like 80s music. Pick a genre. 80s music the best. Dive bars are the fucking shit. There's no 
expectations. There's no hoity toity fucker wanting some cream de mint fucking uh, bullfrog drink or the grasshopper or martini. He may want Jack and Coke. You're going to want to get a vodka and something. Uh, but most likely, motherfuckers be drinking beers up in that bitch. Or be drinking Bud and Bud Light and then drinking your Coors Light or your Ultras, whatever. And it's all fucking good. And, and that's the cool thing, man, because that's what, that's what fucking dive bars are about. Is going back to the same thing. You can find them anywhere. When I first moved back here, I googled dive bar near me and I fucking found one. And it is the best fucking bar here in the area. I'm not going to say anything about it because you know why? Every time Dick and fucking Harry be going over there. So I'm sorry I'm keeping my secret to myself. If you don't know about it, well, too fucking bad. But everybody that knows me, they know it's Friday. They know it's Friday right now. They know later on where I'm going to be. They can call me and say, I know you're here. There. I'm not going to say the word. But I'm going to be over there. Oh, so stupid. It's a captain's. Captain's a fucking AJ dumb prick. But anyway, I I just feel the vibe is just everybody's there. Yes, there's a lot of fucking snowbirds. But they're, they're allowed to be here, man. We're making fucking bank right now. Our, our population doubles in the winter here in AJ from 40 to 80,000 people. And that's a lot of fucking money coming in. A lot of fucking cash. A lot of scratch comes in, man. And AJ loves it. So come on in. Just don't take over my shit. But that is a problem, right? And I'm, I'm not going to get into that. That could maybe be in a segment. But when we go to the fucking bars, I go to the dive bar. And you can find me there on Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Or other days in a while. You got sneeze coming. Hang on. Yo. Yo. Hang on. And let me get on my picture for a second. I get my other road set out of the cooler. <sighs> Be ready. So those are the bars, and they all have their place in, in mankind. They all have their place. They all have their nuances. They have their status. When you walk into one, if you know where you're going, you know what to expect, you'll be just fine. Uh... One is, to me, I will tell you, one is not better than the other, depending on what you're looking for. Uh, know what you're getting into before you go to one. But when your buddies call you up and say, hey, man, hey, man, hey, bro, let's go to a fucking bar. Understand that you need to say, I don't want to go to this bar. Any bar, but this kind of bar. Then you'll be fine. Okay, typically a straight guy will go to a gay bar. But I can't, I don't care. <sighs> Woo, carbonation, real CO2. Talk about that in the old pantry. So, bars and grills, country bars, sports bars, yuppie bars, gay bars, dive bars. But remember, there is a commonality you share, and that's the age group. And most bars have an age group. Kind of look at that. Anyway, so that's that. So, I'm going to leave you with that. Just remember, we're going into, uh, let's see, this is the first week of January, Friday. This is Friday the 6th. Uh, so, not a lot jiving right now. Uh, got some bike riding this weekend, which is pretty cool. I'm fighting the cold, but that's okay. I got these fucking pills, man. I got to tell you about this shit. Oh, man, they're really good pills. I can't remember the name of them. But uh, life is good, you know, life is fucking good. And, and this is important information. I want you guys to remember what I'm telling you. There's no one else going to tell you about this stuff. That's what I'm fucking here for. I'm here to tell you guys about life. <laughs> That's fucking scary. Okay, so it's Friday. Wear red, be proud, think of vet, find a vet, tell them thank you for their service. If they're a Vietnam vet, buy them a fucking meal. Buy them a goddamn fucking glass of whiskey. They'll appreciate it, man. Vietnam vets are the shit. You know why? Because they went through shit. And they caught shit. And no one gave a shit. Right? So I love my Vietnam vets. They're all right here at Apache Junction, man. We have thousands of them, man. I love every one of them. And 
tomorrow. We're going to take a, I'm going to take a motorcycle out. We're going to raise some money. The goals for the veterans. It is Sunday. We've got some more bike riding to do. But that's not really up for the veterans. Anyway. So peace out, y'all. Be good to yourself. Viva loves you. The turtle. Stop wasting time. And start getting wasted. Let's do that shit right now. Turtle out. See you guys. Peace. Love you bunches. And one day I'm going to get, re- <laughs> get my remote fixed. So I can just look cool. Clicking. <laughs> but for now, you got to see my face real close, okay? Love you guys. Bye.